So the purpose of this video is to demonstrate how I tackled a challenge when building and setting up my Spectre 700 helicopter. The concern here is when adjusting the right travel of the tail slider, the, it is possible to have the uh, links uh, here actually flip and, and lock off even before reaching the uh, extreme of mechanical travel. And when I say uh, lock up, that's exactly what I mean. I can't, so here I'm trying to push the uh, crank back, but uh, these links are, are, are locked. Uh, so let me, let's see if I can unlock them. So now see how they move just fine. But again, um, I can take it to the extreme and now it's, um, yep, it's locked again. All right, here we go. Okay, and now, and now it slides uh, nicely. So how does one determine how far can we mechanically adjust the uh, t right tail travel along the shaft without concern or fear that these uh, links will lock up? So the proposed solution is to insert this uh, rubber O-ring on the tail shaft a certain distance from this um, bearing. As you can see, I'm leaving a, a substantial gap here between the O-ring and the, and the bearing. And uh, this is a little bit of a trial and error, of course, determining where to place this O-ring. But the goal will be to make it so that I can uh, bring the slider all the way to the O-ring without concerns of flipping and possibly locking up these tail links. And of course the issue here is uh, determining through trial and error where to place this uh, O-ring along the shaft. My preferred method for adjusting the right rudder travel is to use these uh, C clips that I uh, designed and, and printed. So this is one of those uh, C clips that I uh, printed and it just uh, clips right into a tail shaft and basically it serves as a spacer between the bearing on the tail case and the tail slider. The um, uh, C clips here are of varying thicknesses from two, two and a half, three, all the way to six millimeters. I believe the the basically the three and a half and four millimeters is the sweet spot for me, but I design uh, different thicknesses for different builds as necessary. After testing for the different thickness uh, C clips, I settle for this uh, three and a half. Uh, millimeter thickness C-clip and let me show you how it works. So I'm going to insert the C-clip right onto uh, the shaft and I'm going to take the um, travel all the way to the right travel mechanical extreme. There's nothing I can do to flip or lock up the uh, links. So three and a half millimeter thickness is what uh, worked best for me for this particular application. And of course, you know, once I set up the travel, I no longer need the C-clip, so I just uh, remove it and I, I don't need it for flight.